Namibia holds a very special place in our heart. Ten years ago, I married my beautiful wife, and we came to Namibia for our honeymoon. We are back once again, but this time with a very special guest. No, not back with the tracking. Join us on this family adventure as we hunt together with our bows and experience Africa through the eyes of a seven-year-old who gets behind the rifle for the first time. We start the trip by doing a few days of tourism. Africa has way more things to offer than just hunting, so we fly to the Caprivi Strip, the border of four countries, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana and Namibia, to see the Zambezi River. Mandatory stop at Victoria Falls, a couple of game drives in the Chobe National Park, some fishing in the Zambezi, wrap up some amazing days with the family, seeing the continent's most iconic animals up close. turning seven this week, and above all, our goal is that he gets to experience the real Africa that has captivated so many of us forever. We are really curious to see through his eyes what hunting in Africa is all about. right in the border with Namibia at the Chobe National Park. It's Bruno's first game drive, and we have already spotted the king of the jungle, the lion. At the same time, there is so many cars, so many people. The cars are so intrusive to the animals that, that compared to the wild animals that we are used to see in wild places, it's kind of strange and a little bit disturbing. But impressive, that female with the cubs. Enough tourism, enough game drives, now it's time to get into hunting. We are at the hunting lodge here in the eastern part of Namibia and we're going to be hunting for four days. We have three bows, thousand arrows and let's see what happens. Bruno, ¿cómo estás de ganas? Muchísimas ganas. Let's go test the bows. Just watch out for your head. Yeah, he, he is okay. <laughs> What do you think about about the shooting? Uh, it's just perfect. <laughs> perfect. How many dogs do you have? 
We got about 25 dogs. A la guerra? We believe that hunting out of blinds is our best option. First, you need to be as close as possible to the animals. And second, we are a large group, especially with a young kid, so we need to be as concealed as possible, have room for extra movement and noise, and Africa is typically very well prepared to hunt like this. First seat of the trip, zero animals so far, but our hopes are high. You promise a lot of game, but we are not I seeing I saw the any. guinea balls. <laughs> and the guinea balls I shoot the one shooting. <laughs> Even if from the outside it may feel very easy to hunt out of a blind, a lot of things need to be right. You cannot spook the game when you come in. The wind needs to be right, and you need to move at the appropriate moment. You may have many advantages, but everything needs to align perfectly to be successful and that requires spending a lot of time inside the blinds. We spent the first three days hunting from different blinds, with different setups, at different hours of the day, but for some reason, nothing at all is coming in. The patience required to sit inside a blind for hours, trying to be as quiet as possible when animals aren't coming in, is harder than you may think, especially if you are really young. Disappointing. What a waste of time. So. I'm sorry. Today's mission, we have woke up a little bit early. We're going to do a little bit of a sport and stock. Try to see if we can get anything with the bow. And yeah, get a little bit earlier than the rest of the family to try to get something down. Hinko is going to be the cameraman today. I'm going to try. So you can put all the complaints.
Ah. I did work. You moved a lot. Ah. The wildebeest, I think the shot break great. It was a long shot, but it felt great. But by the time, by the time the arrow arrived, the, the wildebeest had moved a lot, so. It has been an adrenaline rush, it has been a roller coaster. We have been chasing this same group of wildebeest for a couple of hours now. I think the shot is a little bit bad, but I think it will be touching the lungs. Uh, let's see what we find. How fast is the arrow? Uh, arrow is very, very slow. slow. <laughs> quite a bit of blood right 10 meters from the shot so that's a good sign probably the arrow is going more forward than we thought so as soon as I hit the wildebeest I called camp to share the news with the family and ask for help I want to involve Bruno so he can be part of the recovery and learn how to track, how to look for the blood, follow the tracks, and experience the uncertainty of not knowing if you will recover an animal, which is a big part of hunting. This was definitely a very special moment to share together. My first Wildebeest. And Bruno help us with the with the tracking. Beautiful, beautiful bull. Let's put on stock here. Miquelando de sorda de jabalí hurón. Butardoles, Moki. Bien, bro. Bien, papá. Vamos. With very little success hunting from the blinds, we decided to change properties to a better place suited for bow hunting in hopes that my wife Victoria can get an opportunity with the bow and that we can all share and experience that moment together. new place, new hopes, and finally, something comes in. Daylan are coming in. Let's get ready.
Ha caído. ¿Dónde? Ahí debajo del árbol. Ah, sí, ha caído, ha caído. Ha caído. ¡Rago! ¡Ah! ¡Qué tío! After so many hours inside the blinds, it is finally great to have some action. Bruno experiences firsthand what bow hunting is all about, and we are sure that he will never forget this moment. Heavy quarter in a way shot, but the penetration was excellent. It went all the way. Charro? Charro, tú. Fucking ball, butardo, les piquili. Dicelando de solo de jabalirón. Butardo, les moqui. Without losing time, we quickly change blinds in hopes that Victoria will get the opportunity she has worked so hard for. Coming with Bruno, it's like a, like a test of patience. I have high hopes that we are going to. We have a, we have a son for sale. We'll give you a discount. We will ship it worldwide. There are many different antelopes native to Namibia, but for some reason, only some of the species that have been introduced showed up. As we feel that those animals should be better hunted in their native habitats in the future, we decide to pass and wait to see if some of the local animals will come in. We finally run out of patience. Time is running out and the blinds aren't working. This time of the year, there is plenty of water and food, so if the animals do not feel the need to come to us, we will go out and look for them. Sporting stock in Africa with a bow, it's hard. But if you are a seven-year-old kid, it's even harder. So the chances we have of being successful are very slim. I just hope that we can get something with the bow. Por favor, please. I'm feeling a bit unmotivated. Sometimes, things are not meant to be. 
After a lot of tries, we decide that the best way to spend our last day is to try to get Bruno his first harvest. He hunted the whole week with us, learning how to do things, seeing what needs to be done, and we think he's ready to experience his first big game hunt. Bruno is gonna learn how to shoot properly up to 100 meters, and we're gonna give a springbok or an impala a try, and maybe he gets to hunt his first animal. But it all depends on how he does in the test. A ver, prueba. Come. You see, here is the big. Arriba, up. So this is the last shot, the other shot, the other shot. So he has been this one a little bit to the right, but he's definitely inside the the kill zone. Bruno, listo? Sí. Sí, Seco. 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 Bruno. Bruno. Je compte que les rendre en Ha Seco, tío. Ha sido, ha sido emocionante. Sí, Hugo. Ha sido súper emocionante. Qué mamá. Lo ha dejado seco. Lo has dejado seco. Qué crack. ¿Qué tal? Vamos. ¿Qué contento? ¿Qué emocionante? Es guay, es guay. ¿Ha sido emocionante o no? Bro. Yo ya sé dónde está, ¿eh? Es guay. Le, le apunta a los pulmones. Los pulmones. ¿Y has apretado aquí despacio? No, porque se iba a mover, claro. Se <risa> <risa> iba a mover. ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde está? 
¿Eh? Precioso, ¿eh? Sí. No, la buena, Bruno. Today is the 17th of May. Bruno is seven years and two days old. <laughs> and we are here in Namibia and he just harvested his first animal ever. And we are super proud, perfect shot, 100, 120 meters. And he dropped it on the spot. So we're going to sing our traditional song. Vamos a cantar la canción de... For grandpa, para pa el abuelo, ¿verdad? Sí. Venga, va. Butardol, smoking ball. Butardol, spikilin. Miquelando de sorda de jabalindón. Butardol, smoking. Enhorabuena, Bruno. Gracias. Venga, Bruno. Me empuja. I think we accomplished our goal and Bruno's show will always be connected to Africa and hopefully he will return many more times in the future. He apuntado al pulmón, ¿sabes por qué? Es más grande y por ello es más fácil de dar. This has been a very special trip for us and we will certainly never forget it. <laughs>